Georgia. And, uh, I'm a partner in Mr. Sines and this is our property that we'd like to study the plan on. First thing I'd like to say is that this process has been, um, it's been trying at times with, with the planning and zoning and when we have been in discussions well over a year, I think probably close to two years now, when we first came in the office and, 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 and here we are tonight with this. And, process in this situation in my opinion you know we can't give more than we wanted to initially but we know it's really work and so you turning that ship 180 degrees is obviously welcome by us but we've delivered something that you you know wanted us to come up with so um you know it's a great opportunity for private development to come together with city recommendations you know wasn't always in favor of what Matt was telling us he wanted and he wanted to bring it here, and so he was denying the approval. Um, you know, we kept going back to the drawing board, and, and so that meant, that meant less density, really. And um, I think what we have here is, is a great product. I'm very, I'm very proud of it. I'd be very proud to be participating in it if, if you guys recommend approval to us, which I hope you will. A couple things I also want to address is the traffic. Um, traffic on Eagle Road, you know, statistically, we will not impact the traffic. You're talking about eight homes. Um, there's already one there now. So, you know, you've got, I think, three cars in there now. So we won't really be statistically impacted the several thousand cars that had to go up and down the road. Um, the, um, the water and sewer issue, as Matt referred to, the city is um, sort of waiting to see what happens with this property before they proceed with their plan to, to put water or the sewer down. We have to be a catalyst for that. When that starts, obviously we'll start too. And um, the other issue that I wanted to talk about with the rental club, if you put that map back up, it shows the surrounding um, the overlay, yes, that one. Um, I'm, I own a property management company here in town and we manage over 800 units. A lot of them, I mean, a lot of them on Fallwood Circle. I would say 70% of that neighborhood is real current. Um, date and place. I think 50% of that street is real. Um, what we plan to do is not rent. We plan to build homes for sale. As, as, as the chapters here, you know, architecturally pleasing. It should increase property values and it should increase um, home ownership in the area. Um, I lived in my first house on Fallwood Circle. 1995, and we still manage a lot of property there. I've just I've seen the change there. But we think this property and what our project will be will, will benefit the neighborhood. And, um, so the, the rental aspect of it, this, there are city ordinances and, and zoning ordinances that limit the number of people that can live in a rental club and all. You know, we don't intend to rent our land to sell so, so um, that should not be an issue. That's all I have. You guys have any questions? I think Mr. Willis has a question for you. You heard the seven, uh, I guess you know, the, list I'm trying to uh, the conditions that if it was approved, it would be attached. <coughs> do you have a problem with that if you agree to mm -hmm. abide by those? Well, we, we do agree to them. The only, the only issue that I would like to maybe see, and this is a hot <coughs> issue, and I want to be perfectly honest with you guys, is I would prefer a range on a square footage from, say, 13 to 15 hundred. Because we get somebody that wants a two bedroom house and you got a living room that's 50 feet by 20 feet, you got to be, I mean, you know, that's, a, that's an out of scale living room, but to accommodate a two bedroom house, 1,400 feet, you got some larger areas that's not necessarily essential for somebody that only needs a two bedroom house. So um, we'll accept the 1,400 feet, but that's the only one that sort of gives me calls. Um, you know, it's a market thing, frankly, not just our personal preference. The other conditions we can do. And we, we agree to 1400 as well. I think that's the only one. Right. Any other questions for the uh, speaker? Yes. From the commissioner? Can I, can I just have uh, a clarification question? The, <coughs> following up on the same question, I think the condition about the 1400 it says minimum. It's, re it's requesting minimum. Right. 1400, you're saying that. You would rather something smaller than 
I think I think thirteen hundred would be certainly um, thirteen hundred. This I'm also in the uh, in the business of selling real estate in, in town, and I see um, a lot of activity for hundred to hundred twenty five thousand dollar homes. Not only bring values up here, but when you start getting fourteen fifteen hundred square feet, it's hard to make that affordable. And so, um, you know, having that flexibility to have less than fourteen hundred feet would be so um, you know, the range is I'll say 1350 that addresses your um, concern about filling up a house on a lot and we have a range of a foot below that all right any other questions for the uh, speaker 